Hello, this is a vocabulary and notation video lesson on angles and angle classification. Have your worksheet with you so you can take notes as we follow along through the video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to define three terms um, and draw some pictures about angles. The first term is angle, and an angle is a figure that consists of two rays with the same end point. So let's go ahead and draw that. I'm going to have two rays, but they have to have the same end point, which means that the next ray must come from that end point. This is an angle. Two rays. Now, the next two words are going to actually help us describe this angle. Our vertex is actually the shared end point. So we would consider this the vertex. It is the end point that the two rays share. The sides are the two rays. Remember our rays are named by the end point and then another point on that ray. So this is how we will name and describe our angles. So let's go ahead and put some labels on here. I'm going to change color so we can see it. It'll stand out. Let's do X, Y, and Z. And if I were to say, what is the vertex of this angle? You would tell me the vertex is point Y. And I say, well, what are the sides of this angle? And you would name them as two rays. You would say ray y x, that's one of the sides, and ray y z is another side. Again, I'm naming them as rays, which means I must start with the end point. All right, we're going to take a look at different ways to name angles. We've talked about the parts of an angle, and now we actually want to talk about how to name the angle. Start by drawing one picture. We're going to be putting two pictures in this diagram, so make sure you leave room. Our first picture will look like this. So we have an angle, we have a sh an end point here, and we're going to put two points, one on each of the rays so we can see them. And I can name this angle in three different ways. The first way is the most simple, basic way to name it. I'm going to use this little symbol to tell us that it is an angle. Much like we use the ray symbol above the letters when we talk about a ray. So this would say angle N. And that's because it's vertex. So it tells you where this angle um, emerges from. Where does it begin? Another way to describe this angle or to name it would be to name it with all three of the points. And here's where we're actually going to get two different names. But I must put the vertex in the middle. So I'm going to do M, N, P. Now you say, well, somebody else might say, what if I went the other direction? And that's just fine. So our third name would be P, N, M. You must put the vertex in the middle. Let's go ahead and draw another picture. This one's going to be a little bit um, a little bit trickier. So we're going to have an end point, but this time this end point actually gives off three rays. Let's go ahead and label them. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to go alphabetical from A, and then we'll go B, we'll put a C, and then we'll put a D. Now there's a lots of ways we could name these angles. In fact, there's three different angles that we have. We have an angle up here at the top. Oops. So we have this angle. We have an angle on the bottom. So we could talk about that angle. Or we could talk about the entire angle, the large angle that we see. Oh, let's go blue. And we would talk about this large angle. So we have three different angles we can talk about. Okay, um, Let's go back and let's actually just really talk about the ways we have to name this angle. And that means we must include the vertex somehow. 
but we're not going to be able to name this in the simple way of just angle B because angle B well, angle B is the vertex for this small angle on the top, and angle B, or excuse me, point B is the vertex of this angle on the bottom, and point B is also the vertex of this large angle. So what does angle B mean? So that's no good. We can't use that. So if I want to name an angle when I've got all these things going on, I have to use three different letters. B will always be the middle letter because I have to put the vertex in the middle. Okay, um, which leads us to looking at different ways to name it. So let's just talk about the very large angle that we have, which would be angle A, B, D, or we could write that as angle D, B, A. So if we went A from the top, B the vertex, and D on the bottom, or backwards, D on the bottom, B is the vertex, and A on the top, that would be one angle. What about this green angle we had here at the bottom? That would be named as angle C, B, D, or angle, let's go backwards, D, B, C. Those are both correct for this small angle here at the bottom. We talk about this angle right here. But notice B is the center, the middle letter on all of my angle names. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to be classifying angles. And when we classify angles, we're really going to be talking about the angle measure. Our angle measure is, uh, well, let's just go with it and we'll draw a picture. So, acute angle. An acute angle measures the size of the angle is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Okay, between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Now, it's between that because as soon as we are exactly 90 degrees, we're talking about a right angle. An obtuse angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Again, it's not going to be equal to 90 degrees because that's a right angle, and it's not going to be equal to 180 degrees. It's going to be between them. And the reason it can't be equal to 180 is because a straight hang angle is exactly 180 degrees. So let's go back and draw some pictures. An acute angle is just a very small angle. It is less than 90 degrees, between 0 and 90 degrees. Our right angle, kind of boring, our right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Not a lot we can draw for that one. Our obtuse angle is a nice large angle that is greater than 90 but less than 180 so here would be our obtuse angle and a straight angle believe it or not kinda looks like a line and it is 180 degrees on the back of the worksheet you're gonna find some problems that will talk about the parts of the of angles we will talk about classifying angles and naming them go ahead and try that worksheet and that's the rest of your assignment.